regreso aquí en Auto 060 y bueno, como les decía, este fin de semana pasado tuvimos otro, otra gran actividad en el Homestead Miami Speedway, esta vez con la Southern Automotive Media Association SAMA, la asociación de periodistas uh, que cubrimos la industria de los autos. Y este es un evento anual que realmente para mí es el más especial, el más eh, importante, porque es el, el día en que podemos compartir eh, con un grupo de amigos, ya podemos decir, eh, muy especiales, que son los uh, pacientes del Baptist Children's Hospital de aquí en Miami, niños que lamentablemente están sufriendo de alguna enfermedad, la mayoría de ellos de algún tipo de cáncer, y va, todos los fabricantes de autos eh, donan autos, donan su tiempo, los ejecutivos vienen, y eh, los niños pueden disfrutar de un día completo de pasear eh, alrededor de la, del Homestead Miami Speedway en estos autos fabulosos y tener le, lo que realmente... Uh, dice el nombre del evento, Rides and Smiles. So we're switching back to English, so we're going to talk to the organizer of the event, Bill Adam. We're going to talk to Lori Sargent from Baptist Children's Hospital and to Jason Nieves, the partner of one of the children who enjoyed Rides and Smiles in Miami this past uh, weekend at Homestead Miami Speedway. So here at um, Homestead Miami Speedway for Rides and Smiles with Bill Adam, um, Lori Sargent, Lori Sargent, and Jason Nieves. Uh, Bill, congratulations again, a uh, fabulous event. I'm I'm always blown away by the friendship at this event. There's so many people that step up and instead of talking about doing something, they actually get out and do something and it's more and more every year. When that happens, we can handle more and more children every year and it's uh, it's a feel good all around. We all love it. So for people who are not uh, familiar with Rides and Smiles by uh, Southern Automotive Media Association, please a brief uh, explanation of it. Uh, very simply, it's an event to put smiles on the faces of uh, young people where they might not have been for a long time. Uh, they're going through some serious medical issues, maybe not having a lot of good things in life to look at, and we just want to take their mind off their problems for a day by giving them rides in cars of their dreams. If, if they love a Corvette, we bring a Corvette. If they love a Viper, if they love anything, we try to bring it. Yeah, it's a, it's a uh, dream for all of us. So I can imagine for the kids. So, Laurie from uh, Miami Children's Hospital. Baptist. Baptist, uh, Baptist Children's Hospital. Laurie from Baptist Children's Hospital. Um, why, how, why is this so special for, for the hospital and, and your patients? Well, um, the patients, as Bill said, the smiles are incredible. We have kids that are going through cancer treatment, treatment for other illnesses, cerebral palsy, re rehab patients. And um, for them to have a day out of the hospital and away from being at the doctor's office, they spend it with their families. And it is a rush beyond the, the cars are thrilling and to share it with their families and some of the patients that they're in treatment with is a thrill for them. Yeah, and it's nice to see that the auto industry does something else than just like selling cars. Absolutely. Like, and yeah. Bill, as Bill said, we uh, I often email him with requests from the patients about what cars they want. He hasn't let me down yet. <laughs> so it's awesome. And the kids now come year after year and they're just, it's thrilling for them. Yeah. So. And Jason, um, so obviously your, your kid is in, the, in some kind of treatment? Um, yeah, my daughter was diagnosed three years ago with leukemia, and Baptist Hospital basically was that family that we needed to help us through. Um, you're, you're, you're brought into a world that is unfamiliar and scary, and they're there to tell you what the facts are, and but to help you help help you along with the process. And three years later. Three events with rise of smiles, and uh, I can see your smile. <laughs> oh no, but you know, as, as Bill said, but I, I look. My, my my girls look forward to this. This is something that that just it, it, that gives me a smile to see them do that. Yeah. And every like this morning, Daddy, get up, get up. You know, we're, today's the day, and let's go. We're gonna do it. And uh, it's so special for you guys because you guys go through a lot of stress. I mean, it's, it's oh, a very complicated situation. Right, right. And uh, so it's it's uh, for you. It's also a, a great day, right? It's actually it's fabulous. It, it's it is. It's 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 really it's hard to describe, but in the best way, it is. It's a great name. I guess for smiles. It's what you see. We we're faced with difficult things every day, and for a few hours, and just that it lasts. It lasts more than today. This is this is gonna go on for. You gotta keep seeing the pictures and the videos. Yeah, and all but there's that that feeling you get, and then it's and the anticipation for next year. Yeah, you know. And Lori, this is uh, the sixth year that we've been right. doing this. What has been uh, like a reaction of uh, uh, of uh, the patients after they do this? 
Well, as Jason said, they look forward to year after year, and with the new patients that come in, we talk about it, we get them excited, and when they're here, they can't believe it, and they tell me it's bigger and better than they ever dreamed that it would be. So um, the, you know, SAMA and, and the, or the Homestead Speedway has been incredible to us, so we are so grateful and so happy to do this every year. Yeah. So, so uh, Baptist Hospital, you say, located here in South Florida, you said anywhere around the country? Correct. No, we have six hospitals here in South Florida. We are at the main campus on Kendall Drive as a children's hospital. So, and would you recommend mm -hmm. these for other hospitals to get involved uh, and do this kind of event? Right. I know that Miami Children's Hospital is also here this year. They've been here before and they came back this year, which is great. So, really, um, no competition today for the hospitals, just for all the kids to come and have a great time. And Bill, finally, so um, we I've been coming for six years, and mm -hmm. every time it's better and better. More kids, so that puts a smile on your face, too. It does. It, uh, you know, I, I kind of go back and look at it. I learned too, like looking at it through through a child's eyes. The the very first year we we're going to do it, and somebody from General Motors offered a Saturn Sky, the little yeah. two-door sports car convertible, and I thought, no, 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 no. We got a Corvette. We got a Viper. Who would want that? They sent the Sky down anyway. The kids loved it because in their eyes, at their size of a car, and it was huge. So I learned. So I now I have to look and think, okay, what's really going to appeal to them that will give them an extra special joy? And maybe it's not a Ferrari. Maybe it's a Mazda MX-5. You yeah. got to think about this. And maybe it's also just like sharing the, this experience with everybody, like you guys, the sure. hospital, the parents, uh, we the journalists and all that. Oh, at the end of the day, I think all the volunteers have the biggest smiles of all. We're giving something back to the world. Yeah, excellent. Well, congratulations again, Bill. Uh, thank, thank, you. thank you very much. Thank you, Laurie. Thank, and, uh, you, so much. thank you, Jason. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bueno, pues ahí tienen, eh, that was a, la entre, esa fue la entrevista, estoy un poco emocionado, la verdad, porque como al final cuando apagamos la grabadora, Lori, la representante del Baptist Hospital, le decía a Jason eh, que había sido muy valiente porque había logrado contener las lágrimas, no había llorado, le dijo eh, durante la entrevista, y es algo realmente muy emocionante ver eh, cómo estos chicos... Um, Van, como decíamos, muchos de ellos bastante enfermos, los que pueden soportar, eh, digamos, salir del hospital, ir a la pista y disfrutar, aunque sea unas, unas pocas horas de una, un evento totalmente diferente en el que no tienen que eh, ver al médico y saber que van a recibir una inyección, que van a recibir un tratamiento eh, que quizá o que obviamente no es cómodo, que no es agradable. Eh, bueno, pasar unos, uh, unas pequeñas, unas pocas horas disfrutando de esto, Rides and Smiles, ha sido realmente una... Una experiencia fabulosa durante seis años. Felicitaciones a Bill Adam, a la Southern Armory Media Association, a Prestige Autos, Marcelo Cerrato y todo su equipo que son los que eh, coordinan la, eh, la, 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 la presencia de todos los autos, a Johnny Tapanes de STI también, que está ahí siempre colaborando con los autos. Él manejó el, el auto que mencionaba Bill, el Mazda MX-5 Miata. Y bueno, pueden ver toda la experiencia que pasamos ahí durante el Rise and Smile 2013 en el canal de YouTube, YouTube eh, Javier Mota, pueden también ir a entrar a la página facebook.com slash auto 060, donde están todas las fotografías, todos los videos, eh, hemos subido cinco videos de este evento, uno de ellos manejando eh, con a Bill Adam manejando el Ford GT40, eh, otros más con todo el, el desfile, el parade de todos los autos que participaron este año en Ride and Smile 2013, así que felicidades otra vez a todos los que participaron eh, y ojalá que podamos volver a ver a todos estos chicos y a muchos más eh, el año próximo en Rise and Smiles 2014 en el Homestead Speedway. Eh, les recuerdo que vayan a la página de facebook.com slash auto 060 para la promoción que tenemos con los regalos de Radio Shack y ya les vamos a decir un poco más de eso en las próximas ediciones. Gracias a DJ Cafa y en la producción atrás de la cabina. Esto es Auto 060, yo soy Javier Mota, esto es eh, Cristina Radio Network y los esperamos la próxima edición. Vamos a tener un programa especial sobre las nuevas tecnologías que están afectando a las personas de la tercera edad. Gracias por la atención, Auto 060, yo soy Javier Mota. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.